Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we are building ourselves a dump truck to go along with our excavator and our front loader. This is going to help us get all kinds of mining missions done, be able to transport whatever we do excavate or front load, say, from the mine shafts or whatever we get from this new update. Uh, we're going to need to be able to transport things around, so that's why we're building this. Uh, so we'll be able to carry large amounts of materials from point A to point B and maybe back to point A again. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump on the workbench. Let's get started. I've got some ideas, so let's go ahead and throw these down and let's see where we end up. All right, with these builds and these big builds, I kind of tend to like to work on the engine first. Uh, once I get the engine done, I can kind of figure out what the scale of everything is. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go jump right into modular engines again today. We do need a big boy for this. We need we need us a big old engine. Uh, so we're going to get a big old engine here. Uh, try to make it look a little different than the last two that we've done for our excavator and our front loader. But uh, still, we want to end up with a lot of power for this thing. Um, I think a three cylinder might be okay for this right now. We can always make it bigger if we need to. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and go with a three cylinder. That is not the piece we need. There we go. We'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Uh, maybe a little bit of mirror mode here could help us out as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get some drive belts on here. And looking at some reference pictures, the, the vehicles are really massive, large, and they have a huge like cooling system on the front, it looks like. Uh, so maybe we can utilize some parts here. Maybe if we had a fluid Yeah, I mean look at that. That's like what we usually see on the front of these things And I think that's air to air honestly, uh, so I don't even know if this will work uh, We might be able to use this just as a visual part on The dump truck uh, we could do that. Uh, let's let's go ahead and keep moving on here I am gonna grab a 5x5 five five here. Let's go ahead and plop this down uh, and we can, is there anywhere that I can put this where it'll go ahead and let me do it? Let's, uh, let's do something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and go like that. That should help us out. And whenever it wants to go ahead and do it, there we go. Perfect. Uh, I tend to like to do cooling first cause you end up with so many different pipes running around through the thing. It can get a little chaotic. Uh, and if you do things other than coolant first, you tend to have to delete and move things as well. Uh, so it's just an easy little thing to do. Do your coolant first. It makes things a little bit easier. Uh, we need to get back into modular stuff here. Let's grab our coolant here. Uh, this is A, so it's going into A and it's coming out of B. That is not how that goes at all. And that is not where the second one goes. Nope. Uh, let's see if we can rotate this. That will be coolant B. That's perfect. That means it's going into A right there. Let's grab some pipe. We'll go ahead and pipe this up. We'll do that. Let's go into our fluid. Uh, I like to grab this little part here. Um, even if you don't leave this part in, it's nice when you're building. It just kind of helps you visualize which way liquids are, or air or whatever is flowing, pressure, steam, things like that. Um, I do think that it kind of restricts a little bit of the flow here. It is a nice little piece to kind of add, but it um, it's not necessary. It's just for building purposes. It does help us see what's going on. Uh, from there, I think we're going to need a fluid pump to probably pump fluids out, which means we're going to have to be able to pump fluids back in. What if we just kind of loop around, maybe? Uh, that could look neat. Uh, we'll do something like that is where that should go. Perfect. Uh, we can easily do this. Let us know that's going there. All right. So far, so good. Um... What are our, what's our wheel size? What kind of wheels do we have that are, what's our biggest wheel? That's the biggest wheel we have for our dump truck. We make, we can make these a little bit bigger, right? We can make these, uh, radius, not much bigger though. So those are the tires we have to use for our dump truck. So scale wise, we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. Uh, let's just keep working on the engine. Let's get some of that done. Uh, nope, nope, do, let's do that, and we'll come back like that. Uh, we'll need to loop around. And actually, I think I might put this here. Don't ask me why, but I just feel like it needs, it, it's, it's going to work better in the end. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, we can get rid of this, and then this, and slide down. This, and slide down. Nope, let's do that. 
We don't need it on both sides. We can do that as well. We'll cut in here like that. Let's get ourselves some more pipe pieces. We'll just come around the backside here like so and done and done. Uh, and that gives us room to slap, say, some other type of coolant systems into this uh, system here. Actually, we'd probably move this back to here. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place with these builds. I usually am. Uh, coolant B, there we go. And that should wrap all the way around. Perfect, great, we've done it. Uh, from there, let's go ahead and go back to our mod stuff. Uh, starters, uh, let's get our starters on here. And let's uh, let's make sure they're the right way this time. Uh, there we go. There we go. We'll just we'll just make sure this thing actually starts. Six starters. That should be plenty. Uh, back to modular engine stuff. What do we need now? We need air, fuel, and exhaust. Uh, we could do all that. Let's figure out where we want our air to go. Let's go get our pumps. We are going to turbocharge this. We want to make this thing as strong as possible. Let's, can I put these here? Ooh, that might look good if I could spin that around and maybe do that like right there. Okay, that fits real nice and snug, perfect. Okay, so let's grab our pipes there. Uh, we need to put our air on this little port here, like so, do, 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 there we go. And some corner pieces, we'll hook it all up. Hook it all up. There we go. Zzz, we got some air. Nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab our air filters. We'll just slap those on like so. Looking good so far. Looking good so far. Plenty of room to work with here too. Uh, so air is good. Um, exhaust and fuel. Exhaust and fuel. Uh, do we make this thing taller? Uh, do we do this? Do we make it a six cylinder? I don't think it needs to be. I think that's too much yeah that might be too much um let's just keep going where we're going and we can always add later uh what am i missing exhaust and fuel let's go with fuel we'll do fuel say we'll go right there we'll come back with it we'll just go around the corner just like so uh go back to our pipes pipes uh we'll grab a t piece so that should work and that way we can just have one tank going into this entire system tank How's this work? Come on, rotate, rotate for me and down. Uh, I think that works pretty good, honestly. Uh, that leaves room for stuff there and we could plop another tank there, honestly, give us some uh, extra fuel. Uh, that puts it at, at 1400 liters uh, with just those two tanks. Uh, since this thing is gonna be doing more driving, it's probably gonna end up burning more fuel than some of the other things that we're using, uh, but that's all right. Uh, let's grab ourselves a clutch. Uh, let's go from there. We'll go clutch. Uh, we'll do some gearboxes, gear, and I'm not sure which way these need to go yet. Um, maybe away from the engine so we end up with more torque uh, versus speed. I think we'll need more torque for these things. These things are big boys. Uh, coming in next, we need our exhaust. Uh, let's go our exhaust here. Get a couple cats. Uh, I don't need this thing being super smoky in our face, so we'll get rid of that. Exhaust. We'll get some exhaust. Hook that up like so. Perfect. Nice. Nice beast of an engine. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I could put some fancy stuff in here. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, five there. I love doing the extra cooling, so let's uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Now, which one... Those are the fluids. Why can't this be the fluid and these be the air? Because that would look so good, like just stuck in like right there. Boop, we could add some extra pieces to it, but that's all That's all air now. Um, hmm. We're not using that, oops. We're not using that piece. Maybe we go back to our liquid. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We can go for some big ones. Haven't used those yet. Uh, let's see, fluid out, perfect. Flew it in, so that means this one needs to flip around. Can we get this to flip around the right way? That should be fluid out, fluid in, perfect. Nice, that should be working good there too. Okay, so now we gotta figure out flow for this. So this will be the same thing, we'll go, actually we need this on both sides. We'll do some flow that way. 
Uh, since we're flowing in and we're flowing out on, wait, flowing in, flowing in. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hang on. That's right, because it is backwards. Okay, so flow that way, flow that way, flow that way, flow that way, right? Flow, flow out. Yep, okay, cool. We're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, let's grab ourselves another radiator here. Uh, we want to do this on both sides and we can just plop it just like that. Honestly, uh, if we wanted, we could move them to the front here and actually start building out that section up front, but I feel like that's just going to get way too big. And then we'd have to have like six more to make it square. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, let's stick with where we are here. Um, let's get our pipes, pipe, 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 pipes. Where are we? We'll go pipes here, pipes. We'll rotate that. We'll rotate that. We'll go like this. Perfect. Come on. Do all the things. Perfect. Is that even right? No. We need a long piece here so we can go there. We can go like, come on. We can go like that. Sure. Why not? We'll go like that and we can go like that right there. Uh, let's go like that. Uh, flow is going this way on this side and flow is going the other way on that side uh, and we'll turn these on see what uh see what kind of restrictions we're actually getting here if it's actually gonna be a problem uh so flow zoot, 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 goes through comes around is this the right side of the radiator fluid a yes it is uh is this the right side over here this should be a We'll hit U and see if that switches it for us. And is that A? That is A. Perfect. All right, so that is done. Can I get a Can I get a corner piece? There we go. Uh, so yeah, we've got some serious cooling going on now. Um, massive three by three turbos, exhaust, double tanks, five by five radiator with two liquid to liquid exchangers five by fives nonetheless into some more five by five radiators nice and we've got some big area here too uh i'm thinking batteries uh looks like that'd be a good little spot to slap a battery uh yeah it's like a little battery hold there and i should have done that on both sides uh that, that would be helpful let's go Ooh, how many batteries can i get in there this might be okay you know what I don't know if we'll need four batteries, but we're gonna put four batteries in there. Um, that should give us all the power we need for this thing. Uh, that's awesome. I'm liking this engine. This engine's starting to look good. Uh, we need to, I think we're good here. We need a microcontroller to turn everything on. We need a throttle and a key and a breaker. We'll get a throttle, get ourselves a throttle, and we can just stick this. We'll just do it right back here on the back. This will make it easier for us to copy and cut it out later. Uh, we need our key. There's our key and we need a breaker. I spell breaker right, breaker. And this always goes on upside down. Let's see if I can get this. Nope, every time, every time. Perfect, there we go. Uh, so we've got our batteries. Batteries need to go to breaker, key goes to that. And I need a microcontroller to turn all of this on. Uh, let's go ahead and put a gin on here we don't need it uh but we'll use it just for a little bit of resistance as far as cranking this uh let me grab that microcontroller and we'll slap that on hook that up and we'll get everything going from here all right i just went over to the excavator grab the uh microcontroller here we've got that is there a nice little spot under here that we could slap this oh yeah there is uh, how does that look let's move this back by one let's just cap that off right there and i think that looks pretty good you know what we can go ahead and i don't know if we'll need them all but since my luck was starters and not putting them on right, let's put as many on there as we can. And then that way, maybe one of them's hooked up right. And then we'll go from there. Uh, let's grab the paint color that we have here and let's start painting up some of these pipes. I think this will look good. That'll look good there. Just, just accent some of this stuff here, just a little bit. Nothing too fancy, nothing too fancy. Wow, I can't paint that. What is, what is preventing me from painting you? Everything in the way. There we go. Everything was in the way. Uh, so we'll do that, that, that. Pumps, 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 pumps. Yes, nice and yellow. Perfect. Uh, did any of that want to be yellow? That wants to be yellow. And I think we're good from there. We could do our radiators. I guess we could do our radiators. Eh, why not? Why not? We'll leave the tanks gray. 
Leave everything else gray. Uh, it's a nice little accented engine there. Perfect. Let's hook stuff up and see if we can actually get this thing cranking and running today. All right, so throttle to throttle. Uh, let's see, we got a lot going on here. Crankshaft, RPS to RPS. Uh, key to starter. We want to turn on all our pumps. Let's make sure we find all our pumps here. That's a fan. We need fans. We don't need starters. We need starter. Too many starters. Oh, way too many starters here. Pumps, 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 pumps. Fan, fan. Uh, and the rest should be starter, starters, fluid pump. That should be everything there. Okay. Uh, perfect. Uh, key button, throttle. Perfect. All right. Uh, from there, we're going to go starter. We can plug in all of these guys. All eight of these. Jeez. Overkill. This was an overkill. I uh, didn't need to do all that. Air manifolds. Let's go here. Uh, water pump clutch. Uh, da, 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 da. No, we'll put WS on there. Uh, fuel manifolds. We can hook that up. That's perfect. Uh, we can do some crankshaft RPS. That should be good there. And I think, I think, I think that's it there. Let's hook up our power. Oh, yeah, we got to hook up a lot of power here. Uh, we'll hook these two together, these two together. To, and then these two, let's pick this as our main battery here. Actually, and we'll loop, we'll come back with this one as well. So then now everything from here, do, 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 actually, we don't need that. Uh, everything can now be connected up with that switch. We'll just do all that, all that. So much to hook up. Okay, is everything hooked up to there? Everything that needs to be, uh, what is this? Modular engine starter. Those would help if they had power, wouldn't it? Power, 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 power to the gins. There we go. Perfect. Everything should work now. Uh, let's spawn this in and give it a good old crank here. Ooh, that was a little rough land in there. Um, nevertheless, uh, let me change the lighting here a little bit. Let me just get a little bit better light. There we go. All right. Uh, crankity crank. Let's see what this does. Uh, main breaker. We are. We did crank. Okay. We had a double crank, and it sounds like it's running. Uh, we're only running about 40, 38 to 40 liters uh, through some of these things. Uh, these valves might be causing some restrictions. Um, but we are running. I mean, this thing is so quiet. I can I don't I can't even hear it running. I have to look at it to know that it's running. Uh, let's give it some throttle. There you go. Now you guys can hear this thing. Hopefully, barely. Man, these things are quiet. These things are so quiet when they just run nice and little efficient here. So cool. There we go. There is our dump truck engine. Uh, we've got a little bit more work to do on it, probably. Uh, we got some testing to do here. I've got it. All right. As I was doing all that coolant, I realized that I deleted the coolant manifold for all of this. So I think what we'll do is we will put it in here somehow. And I think the. Let's see. Uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, let's delete. Oops. Let's not delete all that. Let's delete that. That. I've got an idea here, so we'll get rid of all that. Uh, maybe not all of that like that. Let's keep this. Let's come in here. Let's copy all this, all this. Let's get all this and move it out of the way. Just like so. And yeah, sure, we'll leave you right there for now. Uh, I want to come in here. We're going to delete this. And we're going to delete that also and that. Back to our mod parts. And we're going to get these pieces here. Okay, and I think, how do I want to do this? Let's do it like this. We'll just go one piece here, and we'll put more on here than we actually need, but it'll actually give some more look to this thing. Yeah, there we go, like that. And we'll curve around. We'll curve around like so. We can do that like that. And then where we need to, these pieces can move out. Uh, so we'll put, say, an exhaust here. And we'll do our air right there. And we'll do fuel, say, right there. Sure, why not? All right, we can do that. Let's grab the T piece here. Flip that around, flip that around. And we can put one in, whoops. We can put one in here right just there like that. Perfect. Uh, let's go back, let's get our exhaust. We can fix this real quick. We'll have exhaust. Replace those guys and delete, delete, uh, not a problem. And we needed our air. Let's put air back. Perfect. Hook it up. Do like that. 
And we need more. I don't know why it's turning gray. We, we've we got the, we're picking from a yellow color. I don't know, understand that. Uh, anyway, uh, that's fixed right there. Now we can come in and we need to fix the fuel. So let's see, I should go like that. Uh, Cause we are one block further away from those. Uh, fuel, fuel, fuel. Let's grab our fuel manifolds and we shall go. Ooh, do we go up with them? Or do we go down with them? Down might get in the way. So let's go up with them and we'll figure out from there. Uh, we need to move all of this again, clear content or we'll resize it, add something to it. Uh, let's slide all that back over. Yeah, see, I think if we went down, Ooh, you know what? Honestly, we could, nope, we could do it just like this. Okay, so paste, uh, merge this to that, and we're gonna take these, and we're just gonna turn these inside, just like that. Perfect. Uh, let's not forget to connect things back up. Uh, we need to go to fuel manifold, goes to here. Uh, air goes, that's not air. Uh, air, 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 air. Where's air? Air, air manifold, there we go. Air is connected, that's connected back up. Make sure we got power to the things. What does not have power? Everything's still powered up. Good, perfect. Uh, yeah, let's repaint this and do, nope, nope. Can I, can I paint any of this? There we go, paint that and paint that. And perfect, there we go. That should fix that. You know what, let's paint all these. We've, we've got them on there, there we go. Nice, I think that looks pretty good. Cool. And let's see, let's not forget to actually connect up. Ooh, okay, hang on, going on. Uh, let's not forget to connect up the actual uh, coolant here. Uh, so we'll grab this little one here in the middle. We'll replace these. Oh, see, why is it changing colors like this? I don't understand. Anyway, we can get rid of these. Uh, let's go ahead and just copy and paste all of that. Uh, actually, we'll cut and paste it and move it to there. Paste merge good to go and then we'll need a t-piece in there actually we'll need our coolant hmm how are we going to do this uh coolant coolant cool this one oh excellent uh we just gotta make sure it's going the right way we can do that uh let's check blue to a i don't think that's right blue would b that's how it should be uh yes everything is flowing that way okay cool Perfect, that's all done. Let's uh, let's wrap this up. Let's add that and add that and there we go. Um, but yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. If you are enjoying these build series, let me know with a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. That also helps us out a whole lot over here. And yeah, comment down below. Tell us what we should be doing with this build. Um, I love your suggestions. I love implementing your suggestions into these builds. So please, please, please put them down below. Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100% and we will see you guys in the next one.